lunch. The first thing you'll want to do is figure out which lunch you have, either first lunch or second lunch. To know which lunch you have, you have to look at your third period class. So think about your third period class. You have first lunch if your third period class is on the first floor of the school or in the relos. So if your third period is on the first floor or in the relos, you have first lunch. Second lunch is for those with a third period on the second floor or for those in the Avid Hub. So if your third period class is on the second floor of the school or in the Avid Hub, you have second lunch. What does that mean exactly? Well, if you have first lunch, then you will go to third period, leave your stuff there, and then go to lunch. When lunch is over, you will go back to your third period class, and then you'll have third period. Those with second lunch, you will go to your third period class and have third period. But at the end of third period, you will go to lunch. Just leave your stuff in your third period class. And then when you're finished with lunch, you'll go back to that third period class to pick up your stuff. And then you'll head to fourth period. What does lunch look like? When you head to the cafeteria, you'll notice that there are two lunch lines. You're welcome to use either lunch line, and they will both go at the same speed, so one line isn't faster than the other. Please do not cut in the lunch line, and make sure you stay on the right side of that red line. Stay away from the section over by the teacher's lounge. It's all marked off with a red line. When you get into the lunchroom, please sanitize your hands using the hand sanitizer, and then grab your lunch. After you get your lunch, you will be seated by an adult. We will be using assigned seating in the cafeteria to start the year. So what this means is that you will be seated in the same order that you get your lunch. This will help lunchtime run smoothly and give everyone plenty of time to eat. Now, you must eat your lunch in the cafeteria. Please do not take food outside. When outside, the relos are off limits and you must stay in the designated areas. This also means that students at lunch are not allowed on the second floor of the school or in any of the hallways. When you're finished eating, you are welcome to go outside until lunch ends. Once you're outside, there is no re-entry until lunch is over. The only exception to this is if you need to use the bathroom. If so, you will enter the building through the lunchroom door by the dance room and an adult will give you a lunch hall pass to use the bathroom. Finally, when the bell rings at the end of lunch, it's time to return to class. When you return to class, we want you to enter the school using one of these two doors. You can enter through the science doors, or you can enter through the CTE doors. We ask that you please do not use the doors here. Then head back to your third period class, and that's how lunch works. Lunchtime Behavior Expectations Remember that during lunch we are always on our best behavior. This means that we are demonstrating behavior that is safe, respectful, and responsible at all times. Please clean up after yourself and throw your trash in the garbage. Let's all do our part to help our school stay clean every day.